free agents who can fill remaining holes after the 2022 draft. Um, and let's take a look. Bleacher Report has Jarvis Landry going to the Ravens, and CBS Sports now has Jarvis Landry going to the Titans. So you've heard he's talking to the Saints. You've heard the Browns are interested. Now you're starting to hear other uh, teams that are going to be competing um, for wide receivers. Is it possible that the Browns bring back Jarvis Landry, or do you think the selection of David Bell kind of lessens that? It certainly lessens it, but again, you're, you're asking a lot out of a rookie there. We saw last year, if you raise the expectations, we just talked about Anthony Schwartz, how he didn't live up to the expectations that I think either the team or the fan base had for him. That's a dangerous game you're playing with David Bell, um, who, again, a talented guy, but he is physically limited in what he can do. He, this is not a guy who's going to catch a lot of passes beyond 10 yards from the line of scrimmage, which is okay. They do need that role, but Jarvis Landry coming back, that sort of eases the pressure on that. It'll and and Juice, look, he's versatile. He can line up outside if he need to do. You can he can play gadget play. He he he's such a good presence in the locker room too. Um, one of the things that I you know I wasn't a huge fan of his, and when they made the trade with Miami, I'm like, okay, I, you know they need it. Um, his character and his um, persona and his leadership skills really blew me away when he was in Cleveland, and I think they're going to miss that. I think they're aware that that that's a hole. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if he comes back. And and just to point out, uh, the Bleacher Report section there that was written was written by a Cleveland guy. Um, so take keep that in mind. <laughs>